Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Victor Campos. We're going to look at more Pinterest for business. In the previous video I showed you how to add content from your websites and such to Pinterest. So let's look at a couple of other ways. If there is no pin it button on, on the item you're trying to pin, you still got options. They may or may not work, so let's give it a try. Here I'm on uh, my company's blog, and let's say I want to add something to Pinterest. I don't see a pin it button, so here's one way to do it. Whatever content you are looking at, you could try grabbing the address, so the URL, the link to the content. So I'm going to select that and copy it back to Pinterest. And I'm going to click the plus, the ever-present plus symbol here, and this time add from website. Here it says, add uh, your address. Okay, let's see what happens. Click next. What it's going to do is it's going to connect, Pinterest is going to connect to the website in question and analyze it to see what it can uh, extract uh, as something visual to then use on Pinterest. In this case, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So sometimes you run into this issue. Oh, there we go. I just needed to refresh it to wake it up. So I refreshed my screen and it did see something. It saw this picture, which is part of our blog post on choosing a good password, choosing a strong password. So this is what it found on that particular link. And if there's anything else, uh, it, it can uh, extract it. But I'm going to say, yes, it, you found what I'm looking for. So again, don't get discouraged if it doesn't work. Try to do a refresh. So I'm going to pin. And where should this go to? Uh, I need another item. Well, I'll, I'll rename MISC videos into just MISC a little bit later. So I'm going to say here, um, tutorial on choosing a good password. Pin it. So that got pinned there. All right, close that. Go back to my profile. If I go back here now, it's um, it's been added to my account. And then it tells you right there, pinned from PMD Interactive. So a couple of things here. If a person comes across this particular pin, they can click to zoom, and then they'll see whatever information about it perhaps other things found at at the at the source that's cool people will see your content there for free and then visit site so people can go directly to where it came from again think about this being set up as 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 one of your products so we're seeing um, the ability to pin content from an external source and we can add it to Pinterest. So very cool, isn't it? You can, um, let me just change this because it's no longer just videos. I want to change the name. And I simply clicked on the edit button below a board, change its name, what's it about. I can write everything not cooking related. Is it in a category? It's a good idea to also categorize your boards. That way people can really find your content. So this is all just miscellaneous stuff. What fits? Other. Okay, so I added uh, content to Pinterest by from a website, and we've seen upload pin, and then we've also seen that if a website has a pin it button built in, then great. Now let me show you another one. Uh, notice another way. Notice how when I try to add something here, it says the pin it button is the easiest way to pin things from around the web. This is another thing that you can do. This installs like a mini program into your web browser, and whenever you browse any website, if there's no built-in pin it button, you can pin it yourself. So I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to select the pin it button, 
takes us here. It reminds you that uh, Pinterest is also available on, on iPhone and, and Android. But what I want is the pin it button to be added to my web browser. So, okay, I'll select install now. Depending on your web browser, this may or may not look the same. Mine is saying it wants to add this software to my web browser. I will allow. Uh, once again, it's going to confirm the pin it button from, um, from Pinterest. I want to install it. Yes, go ahead and install it. And then so now pin it button for Firefox. Welcome. It's been installed. Top left, it tells me it's been installed, etc. And now on the top right, when I see Firefox here, there's a pin it button. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go visit some website. And again, this depends on the website and a variety of factors. Sometimes the pin it button can extract the contents of the website pretty easily, and sometimes it cannot. So I'm going to say, well, let's see what happens right here. This is my blog about comic books. I'm going to click on the pin it button in Firefox here. Remember, you will not see this until you install the pin it button. Try it out on your own web browser. Pin it. And what it found were these particular items without much context depends on the uh, on the on the website but I'm gonna say uh, let's see what happens here I'm gonna pin this item and it recognizes I'm logged into Pinterest where would you like to place this miscellaneous is good mm -hmm. and uh, it extracted a little bit of content not enough I'm gonna say uh, this is cool comic book covers Secret Wars number eight by VM Campos. Whatever information, pin it. It's been added to Pinterest, and if I go back to my profile, now it's been added there. So people, my followers, will see my uh, content here they can click on the source and this will show you everything that Pinterest knows about that particular site so my site vmcampus.com has been pinned a few times before and it shows up there and that's what you want you want to put your content out on Pinterest so that people can find it and interact with it. Someone could come to that particular pin and start commenting, see what else comes from my website, and of course visit the original content. Very cool. So hopefully you're getting the hang of Pinterest now. Um, it's a matter of using it, interacting, putting out content that is real and relevant, and following the 80-20 the rule, I would say. 80% original content, 20% curated content. And that's the fancy social media marketer term for um, found content, content that you discover, that you approve of, that you endorse, that you pin, that you spread, that you curate. So if you spend time to create original content, more of it than curated content, you'll be putting out your stamp onto the world, you'll be putting out your, your brand, and hopefully you'll be getting interaction. And that interaction can lead to uh, clicks back to your website. Always remember to put your website on your profiles. And then you are able to... You are able to then have a, an effective social media presence. So here we've talked about using Pinterest for your business.